One of the things you might not realise about 3D printers is that a lot of the parts are actually printed on 3D printers, which is one reason you might want two 3D printers, because on my printer, the parts are actually cracked. Let's have a look. You can just about see the cracked part there in the extruder idler. And hopefully, we are now going to start printing a replacement part. Now, the crack's quite bad, so I'm hoping the whole job will hold together long enough. If it doesn't, I'll have to use a different 3D printer to print this replacement part. Fortunately, we do have one at the office. So, quite amazing really, printing spare parts for the printer that's actually got a broken part that needs a spare part. What a world we live in. Well, I'm now on my second attempt to try and print this spare part. Um, the first attempt didn't work. It's, I tried printing carbon fibre for extra strength. Unfortunately, it takes extra friction to force the carbon fibre through the uh, through the extruder, and uh, there isn't friction because the idea is cracked. In fact, it's cracked even more. As you can see, the crack looks like it's got bigger. And what I'm having to do is I'm having to make sure the tube here is literally pulled up because it doesn't have the power to pull the filament through the tube. So I'm literally hand holding this print. And I'm sorry to say that unfortunately it did crack part way through printing the spare part. It got quite a long way but not quite far enough to be usable. So sadly not worked. I will print the spare parts on the other 3D printer at the office tomorrow morning and then we'll be away.